mean, we're coming in, you know, well, very confident this year. Uh, coming in with, uh, we've known pretty much over the last three years, these seniors, you know, they all played as freshmen pretty much uh, their freshman year, and they're they're coming into their senior year. We got 15 seniors this year, with uh, 13 juniors backing them up, and uh, they're just they, they, there's a, there's a confidence about them, uh, but they do realize, you know, with this schedule we're playing, we definitely as cliche as it is, we have to take it one game at a time because even our non-region opponents this year with uh, Mount Sales and Seminole County are really tough and then you get in what they call the SEC of Class A. I mean, you know, we got the state champion in there and two semifinalists. So uh, so it's going to be it's going to be a fun season, but it's going to be one we got to take one game at a time and just hope we can be competitive. Yeah, there's uh, there's no pressure on us this year. We've, uh, we haven't had a, we didn't have a losing season last year. We made the playoffs, so all the pressure to, is kind of off of us right now. We're just going to go out there and see how many games we can win, see how far we can go in the playoffs. Now, making the playoffs last year, tell me what first, I mean, what did that feel like last year to make them for the first time in, in five, six years, something like that? And then, you know, the expectation and the goal to get there again and get further this year. Well, it was exciting last year. No, we haven't had a playoff game at Pacelli since I was in like maybe third grade or something. So I don't even really remember it. But it was exciting to you know, travel up there and we, we didn't win. But <laughs> I mean, it was a fun experience with all the fans and the, you know, everyone that made the trip and everything. I feel like we're great. I feel like we've improved a lot. We've got a lot stronger this offseason, faster, bigger. What's, what, what have you seen kind of specifically on the field? that's impressed you. Our speed. Yeah. A lot faster. How so? Give me an example of what you've seen. Like I see, like last year we like we run the plays and be not as fast as we want to be. This year I feel like we're a lot faster. Like we can do four or five plays in a row. Like in a no huddle type offense and it's, it works really well. But this is a year we're coming in. The expectations are a little higher and I think when you're building a program expectations get higher every year. And if um, if you let your expectation go backwards then you know you need to revamp what you're doing. But you always want to have high expectations coming in and uh, we, we'll never forget where we started and where we came from, but uh, we know coming in this year, uh, we, we know we got a chance to be really competitive. Uh, we know uh, we know it's going to be tough, so we want to start off with, with tough non-region opponents, and uh, Mount Sales and Seminole County is going to give that to us real quick. You beat uh, Brookstone last year. Of course, that's not the only game that you play, but it is a big rivalry. What does that uh, say, and is that something you're going to try to do again this year, or is that? I don't even care about that right now. It's October 24th, I think. And we'll worry about that the week of. Uh, that's uh, people trying to hype that up around here. And we, it's a big week. Uh, I think Max Preps may be making it the national game of the week uh, this year, which is going to be fun. But we got to. If you go one and nine and beat Brookstone, and you know you ain't you ain't accomplished what you got was trying to do. So uh, you know we got a we got a lot of work before we can even start thinking about that. Uh, right now it's about uh, getting ready for mountain sales. And um, I really feel like though that I've sort of reached my limits as a coach in terms of you know the capacity, the the, the level of performance that I want them to achieve. Our our um, competing against the private school in Area One has been a lot tougher, as you know. They, the GHSA realigned um, the schools, so now we are. Are competing against a lot tougher schools, and I feel like um, the two coaches that we have now, Buddy Dutois and um, Coach Chris Reed, are very talented, and um, they're, I think they have what it takes to take this team to the next level, and, and our goal is to qualify for state this year because we missed out on qualifying in the last two years. What have your practices been like this, uh, this off, or this off leading season? Up to, yeah, leading up to it. What kind of running have you guys been doing? Uh, we've been doing easy running, like 45 minutes uh, every practice. Other days we'll do like 30 minutes just to take it easy and then after practice we'll sometimes do abs. Um, well when I came to San Ampicelli it was the only sport you could do in fifth grade. So I was like, okay, I guess I'll run. And I'm not very coordinated, so running is just like left to right, so I guess it's easier than other sports. You're starting a program from scratch, what, what is that like? Um, it's a huge undertaking. I mean, we didn't have, we had nothing. We had poles from maybe 10 years ago that we had to put athletic tape on to hold together. Um, we had to buy a new net, we had to buy new jerseys. I mean, I mean we didn't have anything, um, but it, it was great. It was a great experience, you know, learning what we needed to have and, and what 
what I thought that we needed and what we didn't really need. Um, and we had a, a lot of interest in the program. We had like 30 girls who wanted to play, which in a school with 150 kids, 30 is a pretty big number. So to have to cut for a team, that was interesting. Um, so the whole experience has been interesting. Uh, we have a really good team. We're always there to pick each other up when we're down and we support each other because basically everybody was new when volleyball came to our school. So we all understand that everybody's going to have their struggles and they're there to pick us up. Um, we're learning a lot of new stuff and since it's our second year there's still a lot to learn so we even went to a camp this summer together as a team and we learned a lot. We're getting better every day. What, what's, the, what's the feeling being on the first volleyball team in, in Pacelli history coming into the, this year being the first year with the varsity? Um, it's really exciting. I've always wanted to play volleyball so it, I was glad that they got it before I graduated and so I'm really glad that I get to be on it. As a team we're really close which is part which is key for winning because you don't have to have the best athletes but as long as you play together as a team you can win games which is good. The Brookstone rivalry is big with football but is there a Brookstone rivalry with softball or is that a, can you speak to that? There, There is a rivalry with softball. I played with a couple of the players from their team on travel ball teams and it's different playing them a season they're not your teammates anymore and it's it's different but yeah it's very big.